What's going on bowling fans? Welcome back to the channel. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that good stuff, whatever you celebrate, it doesn't matter. In this video today, we're talking about our favorite bowling balls of 2020. Uh, I know, 2020 has been a bit of a doozy for everyone. Yeah, kind of strange. I know that a lot of you out there watching are still not even bowling yet. Man, that's terrible. Hopefully moving forward, everything starts getting a little better. Anyways, let's talk about our favorite bowling balls of 2020. Comment below, let us know what your favorite ball was this year. Proceed. We're sitting here with Mr. Justin Williams, Motive Staffer in for this guy's a house. bunch of time in, in, our, in our house. Should we tell them? Should we tell the audience? Yeah, this oh, is our good. house together. No. <laughs> yeah, in my house right now. Let's talk about 2020 and the Motive lineup that has come out this year so far. It's been tricky for everyone to bowl as much as they wanted to. Obviously, we were all kind of shut down for a bunch of months. Justin was sick for a while too, so he wasn't really bowling. In but the hospital. In the hospital for what, 11 days? 10 days. 10 days, yeah. Yeah, it was rough. Overall, man, how was, how was your 2020 besides like being in the ICU? Still going. <laughs> It's still happening. Working, didn't lose a job, I'm good. Yeah, so it's pretty awesome, right? Let's get to it, man. Given the situation, obviously, this year, all the stuff that was coming out, what's your overall outlook, your your honest outlook? And obviously, some people are gonna be like, well, these guys are staff guys. Obviously, they're not gonna like bash a company, whatever. Sure. On this channel, like we're super honest. I hope that comes across to everyone watching. What's your 10,000 foot view of Motive and how they did this year with all the releases? Let me start by saying this, Fatal Venom, Yeah, a lot of people are not liking this ball. Really? No? Dude, because this is what everybody's calling the Venom Shock Pearl, the true Venom Shock Pearl. Gear cord, the cover sock, everything. So I think they're not seeing the back end, which is- The whole point. What people want. Exactly. Um, but how are you drilling the ball? What's your layout? Is it like a benchmark layout that's not gonna hook a lot? Is it a layout that's just gonna be smooth? Is it- More information. I drilled mine that it's a ben it's almost a benchmark ball, but it matches my Supra, so it's great. All right, the moment that everyone's been waiting for. What was Justin's favorite mode of release this year? So up in the air, I went to two or three different ones. One being the Desert Tank. What? Dude, the ball's really the ball's amazing. No kidding. Dude. I would have not have guessed that. Okay, okay, but that, that's not but it. That's the micro sub polymer. Uh, cover that's the tank line now that they're doing but an awesome ball then I thought it was gonna be the jackal flash everything the golden jackal and the nemesis should have been is the jackal flash I thought it was gonna be that ball okay but it's the Ford player ah, I knew it really strong symmetrical solid is what I like obviously I don't use it much flat out hooks does not stop this is a keeper the first one was okay then I thought the forge fire, fire. was gonna be even better yeah <sighs> Balls. And that was like the man that ball, a, right? That ball's a dud for me. It was just, yeah, it didn't really, even filming that, you didn't seem to really no. be in love with it. No, but I can throw the flare from anywhere. Uh, all right, moving forward, 2021. People watching right now are still not even bowling in certain parts of the country. Where's Justin in 21? Take it as it comes, bowl what you can. I mean, man, <laughs> that's it. It's rough. Yeah, it's been weird. Keep your job, because those are hard to come by, apparently. What's your social so people that are a fan of yours can follow? What's your Instagram? Look know. it up, man. Tell them. Justin Williams on How Facebook. How many times do you look at your own stuff? Oh, Fred underscore Callahan 915. Yeah. It's, you're on top of it. Here's right, watch. How do you figure this out? Bing! How do you figure it out? Just go to your, your mm -hmm. home. J-D-I-M-S-T-R. Jedi Master. There you go. Jet. That's what it is. So, Jedi Master. But without a, without a couple letters, yeah. so follow him on Instagram. He's always posting motive stuff and um, everything else that's happening with that. So I yeah, guess I can link my over. Facebook into there if y'all want to follow me on Facebook. Yeah. Moving on, let's see who's next. Thanks, buddy. Not this guy. High five. Ba boom, ba boom. That's the stupidest thing ever. Said. Sure. All right, we're here with Mr. Matt Musgrave. He is on technically rotor grip, but storm, but both, but you know. All three. Come this year, it's gonna be a, a whole different ball <laughs> game. So Matt, how was your 2020 with bowling? Very bad. Yeah. I've dropped 60 pins. Slowly starting to come back now, but. Stop. Tariq was saying with the almost four months off, just trying to get back where you were before. I've made pitch changes in my thumb again. The and last video you had, you were throwing the ball pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, you made some, made some changes, everything else. So. Yeah. What people want to know, what was your favorite release 
from Rotogriff this year? Tell them. So obviously I drilled everything that came out, but the current line, the new balls of this year, my favorite ball is the RST, even though it's the newest one, that ball's amazing. The most comfortable ball that you've had? Yeah. I it, thought you were gonna say the the nuclear cell for, if, for a well, second. If the RST never came out, that would've it been, would've been the nuclear so cell. So the runner-up would've been the nuclear cell. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. That's Matt right here. I'll leave Matt's social connections and all that stuff in the description below. If you wanna go follow him on Instagram. Uh, what's your, is it Roto Matt? Yeah, on right, Roto Matt Instagram, and then yeah. Matt Musgrave on Facebook. So if you want to go give Matt a follow, he appreciates all your votes too for the 3K oh, sub right. videos, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're doing, you're doing pretty winner? good, man. I, I wouldn't say you're winning. I, I think I, I'm still <laughs> slightly in the lead. I've got to double check on that. All right, RSCX1. That's the ball that you're going to be winning if you uh, go over to our 3K subs video and find out how to yeah, enter that contest. Thanks, Matt. Thanks. You're awesome, buddy. All right, we've got Mr. Treek Joiner up right now. Uh, Treek's on Global Staff. Everyone knows that already if you're watching the channel, if it's your first time here. That's that guy. Mm. 2020 has been an absolute disaster for everyone. How did it affect yeah. you and your game and, and bowling in general? Like where, uh, where you're at? Well, I mean that like it's weird because February, March, I think I was like burned out and I was like, dang, I want to take a break for a couple, <laughs> a couple weeks, you know? I was getting ready to just, you know, with COVID, that couple weeks turned into four months yeah man and um i don't know if you know if you guys have checked out the the pink badger video we did you saw me coming back after four months yeah. and it was atrocious yeah it definitely took a toll on everyone especially me and and other any bowlers really yeah of all of the 900 products that came out during this year overall like what was your think, feel of all the stuff that came out i think they did a great job with the way things came out this year i mean i loved pretty much every ball that that we released this year and with us you know it's like we we made the we made the move from san antonio up to utah mm -hmm. so we had you know releases from san antonio which never really hit the market hard yeah, because as soon as it came we, out i know that we got shut, shut down. down yeah you know the ones from san antonio like the the volt solid it's a really good ball yep the pink badger you know the booyah pro i've actually started to use a lot more i was actually before we started uh before when we when we came up with this idea to do like our favorite stuff i was actually thinking about what were those releases that came out for all the all the brands that we represent mm -hmm. in that january february time frame it's almost like a different part of your life at this point you it know is. so it's much like, has changed like pre-covid and then, and then post COVID. Post -COVID. <laughs> yeah. people post that they're gonna like you know post covid yeah things like that the releases that we came out with from utah were phenomenal i mean i love them a lot right I'm off seeing, the bat i thought i thought i'm they were seeing a good. ton you know more global stuff going down the lane oh my God, more yeah. people are are asking you know me and other staffers about about these these bowling balls you know yep all right let's get to it Tariq brought well basically his top three the for the top year three, yeah i'm gonna hand it over to you buddy Let, let's see what you got all right the second runner-up i guess second runner-up second runner and up. it's actually from our san antonio factory oh, which is my volatility yep. this ball is still one of my favorites it's it's one of my top tournament bowling balls so this is a ball that you know always is in my bag if the links start to get a little tricky this had to be in my top three all right runner-up and it's actually the pearl version oh. <laughs> which is the volatility torque we first drilled this ball and i did not like it yeah you it were not was, happy with it i man. was not it was it was a strong pearl I, I don't use a lot of asymmetrical pearls drilled it and kind of put it away we did the video for it yep. and i was like all right this ball's got it's all right a little potential yeah, it's not bad and then i ended up shooting 300 with it i have two and it just instantly boosted to my yeah. my top three it's not the first time I've drilled a ball and I'm like, you know what? I don't like this ball. Kind of sidelined it for a little bit. Let me put it bit. away for a little yep. bit. And then yep. a couple months later, I'll take it out. And I'm like, why did I sideline this ball in the first place? You know? <laughs> Fine wine. Sometimes ball, you got to put them away and be like, ah. I mean, this this ball. And, and it is great because I got the one-two combo with the volatility and the volatility torque. And <laughs> to anyone that followed me on, on, on Facebook, I, I feel like should know what my number one bowling ball is. Or if anyone bowls league with me, yep. they should know they what know. my number one ball is. And that is, there it is. Brand new event. This ball, I loved it from the get go. Yeah. Car, Anyone like that hasn't watched the uh, Zen review from uh, this guy right here and uh, Jason Ray actually hopped on for this first one. I'll leave yep. the, uh, a little link. Click this link up there. I mean, out the bat, I, I, and I love the white hot badger. This is a symmetrical pearl. Yep. So I drilled it same way as the white hot. It does pick up a little bit more in the mid lanes. Covers a little stronger. Is that yes. the, the response pearl? This is the S77, I believe. Yep. 
it's so easy down lane. I mean, a couple 300s with it within a couple, within- Quickly. Uh, yeah, within a month or two, you know, I've had a shot 780s with it, yep. you know, things like that. This is, you know, my pin up one. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna drill a pin down one and then have a couple in the stash, you know, yep, for- just in case. For nationals next year, for I'm sure. For a rainy day. You know, when those, those start up. And if anyone wants to uh, follow Tariq on his adventures in bowling and everything else, what is your uh, what's your Instagram? Instagram is just it's just my name. It's just Tariq, Tariq Joiner. Um, I'll leave all Tariq's links uh, in the description below as I well. I will be doing more posting about tournaments and leagues. You know whether it's the, the good or the bad. You know it's it's part of the game. It's part of the grind, man. That's Tariq Joiner. Those are his three favorite balls from this sloppy mess of a year 2020 i'm very excited for 2021 there's big changes coming and we have so many awesome ideas for the channel and different things leave a comment below let us know what you guys want to see from us going forward in the future cheers to 2021 happy holidays and all that good stuff Tariq joiner social stuff's down there follow this guy he's amazing thanks bro good luck bro you're awesome all right here we go everybody john's prepared today where i hate picking on matt all the time because it's Matt, you know? Yeah. I don't know. No, but you wrote stuff, dude. Yeah, it's like, You yeah. have notes. That's yeah. great. And I, I yeah. appreciate that, man. All the effort into it, Plus, right? this ball that we're reviewing is probably one of my favorites that I've thrown, so. Like, ever in your life favorite? Like, even beyond the year of 2020? Yeah. I mean, my first runner ball, obviously, is that was, that was its yeah. first, so I mean, but yeah. This was, that, was that a phase two? Yes, oh, it was. a phase two, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the way to go. Uh, a couple things before we get to John's favorite release of the year. 2020. Overall, it's been really tough bowling. Uh, you know, we all took a huge break and all that kind of stuff. How has it been for you? I know that you had a couple injuries kind of pop back up, yeah. you know. Well, yeah. 2020 is when I kind of started my, my like adult career, kind of like the beginning of the year is when I started subbing on Mondays on our pro shop team and everything. Yep. And then the shutdown happened, so then I was, Three, like was it three four months started bowling again and then I started developing some shoulder issues because it was a while and then recently I just got off a of wrist and thumb injuries so it's <laughs> but other than that I mean shot a 300 this year so I can't complain that much yeah, yeah I've, been, exactly. I've been I have the high average on Friday nights right now so uh, as awful as 2020 has been for some people there is a, uh, some silver linings I guess you can say here it is now do you have a top three or do you just have like the one ball that you want to talk about? Top three this year? I can do a top three, but I only prepared for one. All right, here it is. So John's number three ball is? It's going to be the Hustle Wrap. You know, I threw that ball because I was experiencing some wrist issues. So I picked up your 14 pounder yep. and started throwing it. And last game with it, I was averaging, I think, like 225, 230 with it every time I threw it. So I can't, can't complain with that. Uh, ball number two, number buddy. Number two. The Ooh. recent release, the RSTX1. All right. So All that, right. that was a good ball. I like I like hybrids and I wasn't really too sure because I don't really like solid hybrids. I'm more of a polished, like an yeah. idle synergy kind of guy. Like I like, I like stuff like that. But I mean, that, that really gave me a lot of tight uh, looks like because we developed kind of like add a little more oil to our house shot. Yep. So that kind of keeps that ball, helps me keep it tight and kind of gets that back end that I'm looking for. And do we, do we, do we drum roll? Do we drum? <laughs> Number one Number ball. One. John's favorite ball release of 2020 is the Axiom Pearl. Boom. It's a huge shocker, I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> if you know me, you know that's probably my favorite release this year. So NAX cover, and looking on Summer's website, me and your pretty sure Chad wrote this. It's yep. unapologetically tenacious. Yes, it is. <laughs> the NAX is probably my favorite cover sock at the moment. But NAX is uh, something, a whole different animal, man. That that, yeah, that thing is strong. Everything um, that's been wrapped on has been a great yeah, release. It's So at first when we threw it, it was super strong. Couldn't control that thing. Yeah, I was, was standing way like, too jumpy. like 33, hitting like two, and I was going high and stuff. And I was throwing it, I throw it pretty fast. Um, but I heard like like mixed opinions about it. Like Tyler Barty, shout out Tyler. Uh, yep. He told me that the ball like didn't move for him. And he's like yeah, two-handed. He's two-handed at that too. And he's two-handed. Yeah. I figured it would have hooked more for him than me. I, I guess that goes to say that. Like for, like for us, those, those couple of those nuclear cells like just didn't move. Yeah, like, just didn't, didn't hook that much. Really, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, what else you got? Should we drop the layout? Yeah, say it, man. Tell them. Tell the them what that layout was. 55 was 55 by four and a half by 30. It's like perfect. I can throw it when it's super dry. I can throw it when it's super wet. And I feel like I'll get some kind of reaction out of it. And that's what I really like. There it is, really man. Like looking into it. That's John right there. Go follow him on Instagram. And uh, I think he's on Facebook. He's too young to like know what Facebook is, though, because only us 40-year-olds know what that is. So <laughs> all the new young whippersnapper stuff. He's on He's on all yeah, those rubber things Rubber elbow there. gang, you know. That's it, man. Yep. Oh, See you here first. One, one last thing. One um, last. I also shot my 300 with the Axiom Pro this year as well. Ah, there you go, <laughs> man. All right. Thanks, buddy. You're Thank awesome. You. Storm Nation. All right, what do you think? I guess it's my turn here for my favorite ball of the year. I'll have to admit that this is kind of tough because I didn't really bowl league at all. I just 
through some videos and through like a, a few practice games here and there with a bunch of you know different bowling balls but I'm gonna have to say that my favorite release personally for myself was the Electrify Pearl. I know it's weird right? Electrify Pearl is like you know a mid to low end ball overall like bang for the buck that's always been my thing I feel like if you're putting out a certain amount of money and you're getting back a certain amount of expected performance those moderate tier to lower tier balls have always been like some of my favorite stuff the hustle line was really great when you're not paying as much money maybe your expectations are lower for that bowling ball or that product or whatever you're getting so i feel like the electrifies this year more the pearl the hybrid was a little bit too early and, and kind of didn't like finish as much but that's you know that's me again like not throwing it great but the electrify pearl man I could basically stand on the big dot, throw it at the second arrow, and the ball just got to the pocket and struck. It was great. It smelled great. I really like that ball. So Electrify Pearl, that's my favorite of the year. Kind of weird, I know. Kind of like a kind of a curveball on that one. It's not like some like big A sim or like real strong symmetric. Hey man, sometimes the simpler things in life are the best, I think. What did you think? Let us know in the comments below. What was your favorite ball release of 2020? Any company, doesn't matter. Whatever your favorite company was, comment below, let us know. Before you leave, please hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and tell the YouTube robots to put our video out in front of more bowling fans like yourselves. Click the bell notification icon so you don't miss another video from us here at Callahan's Performance Bowling. If you have not yet seen the 3K subs video, head back over, maybe I'll put a link right there. Click on that video and find out how to win a brand new Rotogrip RST X1. Also, also, have a happy new year. We'll see you soon. 2021. Let's do it. Okay.